meditation. Meditation. Hello everyone and welcome to our home here in Lancaster Gate in London. As you might know, we're making some videos to support our favorite producers and suppliers. For you to be able to make really, really simple Mexican food at your home, but also to get these amazing ingredients. So today we got this cabrito that is basically a goat shoulder and we're going to be making some cabrito adobado. For this we will need tomato, sesame, a little bit of fennel, apple, red onion, obviously our cabrito meat, some sauerkraut, different types of dried chilies, uh, salt and pepper and some spring cabbage. We're going to make our adobo. So we have different chilies here. Guajillo, some dry jalapenos, um, ancho chili. So what I did is basically just to soak them in water. Just put everything in our blender. We're just gonna remove the stalks from the chilies. Just remove these stalks as well. And our garlic. It's an adobo, it's gonna be cooking the, the meat, so just don't be shy with the salt. We're gonna blend it now. Perfect, so look at this. I like to strain it because like that, you get rid of the, the seeds. Okay, so look at this. This is the adobo. What we're going to do is to rub our meat with it. Okay, so put a little bit underneath. We're gonna put this bad boy here and it's gonna leave it there and then we're gonna prepare our cabbage so just gonna cut the bottom of our cabbage like this so we get all these beautiful nice big leaf piece just like that. So this is going to basically help us to cook the cabrito. And then this one, we're gonna save it because with this we're going to make our tacos. Okay, so now we're gonna steam our cabbage. Just gonna put them in there. Just for like a minute or so. Our steamer here. What are we going to do now? is to put our meat in here. So we take the biggest leaves first, like that. We're gonna make a little, you see? We're gonna take our meat and literally just place it in there. And then recuperate this adobo here, just put it in there like that. And then we're gonna put our other leaves on top and I'm just gonna put some vegetables and some chilies underneath in Mexico normally people will do that when they steam the meat and then we're gonna put our meat it's important that the water is not like boiling too hard otherwise the meat will overcook Okay, while that is cooking, we're going to make a little salsa that is inspired of a borracha sauce, that it, uh, it means drunk sauce. And that it's normally made with uh, pickling pears and pulque or tequila. Uh, this time we're gonna add some mezcal, apple juice, some apples, like just roasted apples, and a little bit of our adobo that we had left over, and sesame seeds. So we're gonna peel our apples first. This is a salsa that is really traditional from the Mexico state. That is the center of Mexico. So we're gonna cut our apple. I think for this sauce, we're just gonna use half of it. Chunks like this. We're going to put the pan on, some oil, and the apple goes in. While that is happening, what we're going to do is our sesame, blend it in our mortar. That is cooking, that is steaming in the back, and this is grinding, everything is happening right now. It's paste already. Okay, we're gonna turn them around like that. Just basically letting them be steel. 
and we're gonna add some of our Eston first. Then we're gonna add some of the apple juice. Let's reduce that juices there. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to the sesame and some salt. And what we're going to do now is to add our apples. Without the liquid, gently, gently, careful because otherwise it's gonna go everywhere. We're going to add our remaining liquid over there like that. Finish it like this. A little bit of salt. There you go, we're gonna put it in the side. Perfect for our tacos now. And we're just gonna chop some uh, onion and fennel just to put as a garnish in the side. Um, I'm gonna use only these green parts. Even if it's a quite of an old shape, uh, let's just try to use everything. Dice also a little bit of red onion. And this is going to be our little garnish. Right, so we're gonna take our cabbage, take out this. You have this part here that is the center, the core, with the tip of the knife. And just go around the core. Now we have some leaves. And then we roll again. And what we're going to do is take, <laughs> you can take this, you can take a mold, you can color with your scissors, whatever you want. What you're gonna do is to take it like that and just press for us to put the filling in and eat it as a taco, okay? Right, so now we're ready with our cabrito while it's steaming just to get, to take the, the thermometer just to make sure that the temperature is getting uh, around 70, 72, 75 degrees and the outside temperature it needs to be around 85 so this has been resting already for half an hour it's gonna take this out like this, wow it smells amazing and look at this stuff here oh, it's all the, all the flavor in there Wow, so what we're gonna do is to just put it. So now the time of the truth, we're gonna open our cabrito. Here we have the cabbages that they keep moisture in the, in the lamb. That is perfectly cooked. What we're going to do now is to basically put the leaves in our plate and we're gonna take our lamb out. Careful. In here. Okay, so don't be scared. Just gonna put it in the chopping board. And look at this. Oh my God, it's amazing. I don't wanna pull it down, you know? I want to have like nice chunks. And then what I'm going to do is just basically just to season with some salt and the secret is that you're gonna add some of the stock and just gonna mix it this is going to go to our plate just while it's still hot amazing okay so we have our cabrito adobado our salsa that is made with apples and mezcal, the beautiful cabbage leaves, and then we have a little fennel with onions, our stock, and also we made other like just corn tortillas. It's, inter it's important to recall this, that actually the skins of the cabrito meat that we get, um, we uh, collaborate and work together with Billy Tannery to create these beautiful tortilla pouches. So, Eduardo, mete por un taco, güey. What's up, bro? Hey, bro. 
No mames, consomé, güey. Sí, qué Salud. belleza. Hazte uno, ¿no, Paps? Oh. Sale sí, perfecto. A ver. Exacto. Estás haciendo adicto al molcajete, tú. <risa> a ver, ¿qué tal? ¿Sí está bueno? Sí, no mames. ¿En serio? Sí, la carne está. Um... Delicioso. ¿Sí? Taco número 2. Número 2. <risa> Está bueno para la tortilla es. It's really good guys. If you want like really good tacos, you should make this. It's actually I'm gonna make this tomorrow. Wow, it's so good. Because it's really really good. Stay safe. Um cook with your family. Stay cooking. Um that's it. Salud! I have to say guys that this is the record of number of times that we actually making tacos before mm -hmm. we close the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Chile ancho and it's really good with it.